Hi, I'm Megan. I created the piece Catalyst for Change um, for the PDBE art project. And the reason that I decided to make this piece was because I was fascinated by the enzyme helicase after we had been learning about it in class and how in its role in protein synthesis and DNA replication. Um, and this helicase is an enzyme which separates the two strands of DNA in a helix. And I was also thinking about in art at that time how our emotional unraveling, unraveling in the face of change can correlate to that in biological systems. I wanted to explore how this protein helicase is a catalyst for change like external influences can be in our lives. I was really interested in this project because I, I'm very fascinated by biology. I, by biology, I take biology um, as a subject in IB and I also take art. So I think it was a really interesting project to be able to combine my two interests in the different subject, subjects. And I think taking that on that biological twist actually allowed me to think about my art in a renewed way after that. And so it was interesting that it kind of allowed me to think about it in another way, but also using the protein database, I learned a lot about the 3D structure of helicase and other enzymes and things that actually help me in biology now. Learning how to use the database and finding proteins and how to understand their structures and the alpha um, helices and beta sheets and kind of how all of the structures fit together, which was very useful in my biology course and also just something I was interested in with the primary structures and tertiary structures and secondary structures and how everything kind of links. And being able to recognize the different structures was really useful when I was developing my ideas and kind of being able to actually identify, oh, okay, that's what this part of the 3D model is. Just how applicable and how interdisciplinary this subject can be, even though many people might think that sciences and art are distinctly separate. I think that doing this project, I realized there were many kind of ideas that we, that we have that are more soundly based in science that we can then translate into art. We translate into these abstract meaning. So I was able to take something that's very scientific and um, experimentally sound and then create it into something, turn it into something more abstract that I can use as a kind of a microcosm for our everyday life in a way. So I was able to relate it to a human experience that's harder to um, explain as easily. It's more of like a visceral feeling in a way. My thoughts about art and science is that they're both great subjects, but also something that I definitely learned with this project was that they're great together. And I, I think it was something that really opened up um, an option that I hadn't seen before. And since I'm interested in both, I thought it was really cool to be able to kind of cross them over. And they're so different in some, so many ways, but then seeing that they can relate was really interesting because I just have never thought about them as similar and I enjoyed seeing how they cross over. So I think, I definitely think that we should, we shouldn't think of these subjects as completely different in disciplines. I think we should think about it as more of a interdisciplinary um, thing on a spectrum of different learning strategies, I think, because the subjects all kind of link in some ways.